Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is the Gabby Laura team. We are headed down to do chores. Sophie and Sam get to sleep in today. I'm Yay. licking the rest off the spoon. Yay for them. First we're gonna have our coffee, Gabby and I. Lately I've been feeling kind of down, kind of sad a little. And today I actually woke up with a little bit of a renewed energy, a renewed faith, and a renewed something, a little bit more energy. Normally I have tons of energy, so hopefully today is going to be an amazing day, and I hope it's an amazing day for you guys too. No wonder she always knows we're coming. Stella! She's at the door waiting for us. She was at the window. Oh, she came to the window. Uh, I always wonder how Stella knows we're here. I always thought she heard us, but really, she stares at us out the window. We brought little carrots with us. I don't want to be alone. I spend too much time by myself. So many things that I still don't know. It's time for me to move. A lot of people have been asking me about the quiescent. Um, one thing about one thing I should mention is that our trainer does not believe in taking a ton of supplements, so we always pass everything by her before we try it. And actually, this was suggested to us by our trainer and by both of our trainers actually. And it's a quiescent, and it's a magnesium and chromium supplement. I think that's what it says. So here's the what it looks like. Quiescent. Make Stella so calm. Yeah, it said to give them four scoops. There was four level scoops, and we and then did that. And on the second day, she was like sleeping. She could have fallen over. She literally was like, like that. But anyway, uh, if your horse is low well, in magnesium, magnesium, then absolutely it would probably help. Like I said yesterday, uh, it depends on what your horse's problem is. The kind of stuff that will work for them. We tried two different supplements. Okay, dude. I know, that's why I still drain. All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. This is why they feed him on the ground. Dude. Okay. Like I said in yesterday's video, it depends on what the issue with your horse is. Possibly it's not like an imbalance at all. Very well could just be something else. So definitely check on what supplement you should be giving your horse because it doesn't work for every single horse. Yeah, that's good thinking. Willow's gonna have more time to eat hers. Did you eat the carrots first? Did you eat the carrots first? Yep, carrots are gone. It's thin. Pinning your ears, thank you. Yeah. That's a problem with him. Yeah. Whoa, those are pinned ears. Hey, 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 dude. So that's new. He clearly thinks that he's he the boss of us. Until yeah, he you put ears. Yeah, you put those ears forward. See, Sylvia and I are not that patient. No. Oh, we hold it. That's why maybe he's no. confused. He Boy. Yes. If he He's like, whoa. Look at him. He's like, whoa, that's a treat. So yesterday his stall was a total write off, and, to, and Sam cleaned it, and today just nice and clean. And <laughs> it's my turn to clean it. You'll be a nice boy. Okay? This is actually hard. Come on, Stella's waiting. Oh, yeah, Stella. Stella, you want to But Stella always feeds Stella last, and we'll. Because Stella gobbles it up. Yeah, that's good planning. This is the problem with other people feeding her. They never ever correct her. Good girl. She has to wait. Good girl. She has to, when you're slowly putting the food down, she has to stand there and wait for you. Gabby is so Gabby much better at being strict than me. Back away, then she can have it. Gabby is so much better at being strict than me. And that teaches good manners, children. 
Yeah, children, meaning me and Sophie. <laughs> and Dad. Dad, we all, yeah, I don't know. Like, we have horses, and let's, let's be real. Gabby's in charge of all of us. Aha! Uh -huh. See, yesterday was my day to sleep in, and I came down. Today's Sam's day to sleep in. He has to hook up the water, then he'll probably go back up. Uh, look at Finn's stall. Finn's stall. Yeah. Pretty clean. Not too bad. But that's I know. actually hard to clean because there's I got a new changing. thing to try here. All right. Get the screen, put it up against the wall. Oh, are you going to put it on that and then put the... No, because that would be a piece of purpose. Yeah, because yeah, that would be poop. The poop would stay the up and the shavings would stay. Would stay. Yeah. I know, but you still against, you could empty the shavings. Put it against the wall and then throw the shavings on it. Might work. I think the squares are too small, though. All right, are you going to demonstrate it for us? Oh, don't drag it across so the we'll ground. Willow's, Willow's thing, and this will work probably perfect. Are you going to demonstrate it for us? Just put it on the ground in the middle of our stall. Scoop it up. Ah, huh, Willow. <laughs> I guess some of you guys watched the video uh, yesterday where our trainer gave us some stable management courses in lieu of a lesson. Um, and we're going to do that a little bit more often whenever we encounter a problem. And as some of you guys were saying like that you put your horse in front of food or give them treats and stuff when you want to pick their feet because they have the same problem as Finn. I know a lot of people who do that and that's such a good idea too. The reason that we chose not to do that though is because we won't always have a treat everywhere we go. We like at shows and stuff, and I want him like this, this is something that I really want him to learn to do Finn out of respect. Finn? Yeah. And pick up what? Like pick up his what? feet. Oh, that's easy to teach. I'm like standing here listening to this sound. I'm like, is that a plane? Like, what the heck is that sound? It's Sam. Sam opening the other door. Oh, for Stella. Oh my okay. gosh. Storm. Well, I think that these are canter poles, even though they're race trap poles. Down there, seven feet apart. Gabby worked with poles with Stella yesterday. How did she, she do? She on touching it and touching it and touching it. It's because she goes like, reaches out, like, does like yeah. a long, fast drive. Yeah. And when I put them to seven feet, she just... Go, went right over them yeah. perfectly. Amazing. Plus, she got two feet in there, which is good for her, since she's still learning poles because... Gabby, did yeah. you drink coffee today? Gabby only talks. Gabby only talks when she I drinks drink coffee. coffee. We named you the wrong name. Gabby means chatty. I know. And you only chat when you have coffee. No. Welcome back to the vlog today, Gabby. This is going to be an amazing view once all this stuff I gets cleaned up. That field. Yeah, once this is all clear, it's going to make us have like this amazing view out into that field, but blocked by the road. It's beautiful. I, I'm going to love it. Even Ruby is so confused about the new door open. I'm in love with that door. I loved, I was laughing so hard when I was editing the vlog yesterday and all the horses were standing there looking over the fence. Like they're so curious. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about our hay ball. I'm concerned about this and this is my concern. Finn never ever had a single injury. Willow's not like aggressive. She like will run him off her dynamics and stuff but she's not like a, a mean person, like a mean horse. To kick out like that. Wonder if the introduction of the ball, because there's only one and there's three horses, like I could see maybe Finn had the ball, Willow wanted the ball, like I don't know, but that's the only thing I can think. I looked back at yesterday's video and it seemed like he didn't have an injury until after. I feel like it happened before we put the ball out there, so. So I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm worried about that. I hope you guys don't get bored of us showing some of the thing, same things every day, like letting the horses out. That's my favorite part of the whole day, letting them out and letting them in. I actually got a chance to let them op open the door. 
on my own because see look she never goes unless I tell her mucking <laughs> it is super chilly today is zero it's minus two feels like zero so zero degrees all right you have the wheelbarrow but you want to try this thing no i'm not gonna show it gonna say it's the same thing when you do it at the wall it's not it the is same. not as good it though is. it is the same that's so good yeah the fall to the other end mucking stalls is hard for me. I'm a super tactile person and I have to feel it. Like when you use those forks, they're really hard to get a good feel of what you're doing. It's it's a hard thing to explain. Maybe some of you guys have the same thing, but I like to get my hands in and feel what I'm doing and those forks are just yeah, they're the devil. So, I have baby Emma here. And she loves her little kangaroo toy that my subscriber sent us. She just loves that toy. It's from Australia. So, last night I watched Rodeo and Juliet. It's so good. So, Rodeo is the horse and Juliet is the girl. She's a teenage girl and she's beautiful and it's awesome. The girl was such a brat. But it was a good movie? But it was a good movie. Yay. When you go to the barn to ride your horse, but you forget your coat at this barn, so you have no coat to wear, although she has more than one coat, but anyway, Gabby's here in the rain with no coat. That's my point. But anyway, I wanted to just take a second to say, we did a live video today. It's the first time in a long time. I really needed it. I really needed it to feel super connected to you guys again. Like we need to do it more often. Getting to like talk to you guys and respond and have you guys respond was so much fun for me. So thank you guys for being there and doing that with me because I really, really love it. So we're at the barn. Horses are ready to roll. Hex is like, yes, let's roll. Um, but we didn't see that there's a lesson. Another girl has a lesson ahead of us and we are allowed to ride in the arena during a lesson, but we just feel like it's kind to wait a little bit and let her have like her time to have her own lesson without a bunch of kids running around and stuff. So the girls are just waiting, hanging out a little, playing with some props. Uh, Gabby put Easter, uh, Easter ears on Storm. I'll put a picture in here so you guys can see, but yeah, we're just waiting and then we can have a good ride. Sophie's here with her baby. Do you miss having your horse or are you just happy to have your baby? I miss having my horse here. You but do? I'm kind of glad not today because... It's rainy? It's but your horse doesn't care about the rain. I know, but it's not. No spurs. Spurs are illegal for you. Spurs are illegal for you. Yeah, no spurs. Maybe you can earn them back for show season. So Gabby's just warming up. Warming up, long reins, giving him his head so he can stretch his neck. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. When you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak.
<laughs> Hideous? Is that your word? Horse camp. Okay, Gabby, are you? Is this the first time you've ever jumped no stirrups? No. I did show last year. Mine was over jumped by like a thousand feet. And you stayed on? Oh, bear back. I mean, bear back. You jumped this time, bear back. How many times? What? Oh, don't fall. I finally did it a couple times. So it was like a fall. And then when I did it, I have a grippy staff. He is delivered. I'm not doing bear back. Yeah, Gabby has a really grippy saddle. Was that no stirrups? No stirrups, no hands. Guys, I think I'm gonna bring that down and pack up some of this mess. So basically in the bottom of this locker is hundreds of dollars worth of tack that I'm just realizing. Like, what a mess. That's the thing I don't like about lockers. You just stuff it all in there and then you can't see it. Somebody did message me and tell me, um, leave your stuff out in the open so that you can see it because otherwise you won't use it. Like these were like a really expensive Christmas gift and they're like in the bottom of our locker. I found gloves back there. I found her vest that she should have been riding in today. Her favorite bell boots. Her oh, jumping boots. A crop that she can never find. And her warming blanket. What a disaster. God only knows what's up there. But <laughs> this is Kaylee's locker. Here is an update on Storm's cut. Doesn't it look horrible still? No, Ooh, it looks like it's bleeding. It's dried. It's oh, you guys. But it's actually healing up really well. It doesn't even hurt him. He doesn't even notice it now. Look at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.